For those of you who are asked to complete a research matrix, wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the file here that I'm sharing with you. I basically have three different templates that you can use depending on the type of text that you're asked to complete. So if you are asked to write a five paragraph essay and you are asked to write a persuasive essay where you just need to present one side of the claim or one side of the argument, then I would suggest that you use this matrix here that I've selected where you can list here the citations, you can add here the actually in this these columns, columns B through F, you can add the actual citation that corresponds with each of the paragraphs, the introduction paragraph and the topic sentences that correspond with each of the three body paragraphs. Now here I would replace where it says topic sentence with the actual topic uh, sentence that you're going to be using in your skeleton outline and later in your body paragraph. So I would write this out, maybe even expand out a little bit uh, this cell or this uh, column so that you have a little bit more space here. You could probably even select a uh, wrap so that it doesn't extend out too far depending on how long your sentence is. But here I would add your topic sentences and actually here where it says introduction I would add your thesis statement. So in many cases, you're going to be asked to include at least one citation for the introduction paragraph, which would correspond to this row, and at least one citation for each of the body paragraphs, which would include these three rows. All right, so this is what I would use for the five paragraph essay where you're asked to write a persuasive essay. Again, one side of the argument uh, and you're only asked to support one initial claim throughout your essay. Now for longer text, you might want to consider something like this where you have actual sections and you have main ideas which, which correspond to topic sentences. Uh, when I say main idea, this is the equivalent to a topic sentence, but here you basically, the difference being that you have specific sections that you've included here. Now, if you're asked to write a, an argumentative essay, let's say a five-paragraph argumentative essay where you have an initial claim, a counterclaim, and perhaps even a rebuttal, then you can use this matrix. And here I have added space where you can add your thesis statement. You can add your point number one, or in other words, your topic sentence here, number one, topic sentence number two here, and you can add your topic sentence number three here. Again, these are the topic sentences that are going to later represent the main ideas of each of your three body paragraphs. So here you could include point number one and here you could include you could include the citations. Alright, so in this particular example if you compare this here I'm asking you to include the citation. Here what I would suggest is writing the citations up here, maybe I can call this citation number two, and then here we can say citation number three, and citation number four. Okay, and if need be, again, you, you may not have all of these citations, you may not have five citations, but just to you know, if you need more, you can expand out to the right. But basically, the idea here would be to add the citation up here, including the page of the uh, of the actual citation, and then include the key point in your own words. Paraphrase the key point here. The idea with keeping the page numbers up here is just for easy reference, so you're able to go back and find that particular uh, quote later on when you're developing your your essay. But here I would paraphrase each of the citations. Put it into your own words. Find synonyms, word families, word categories to maybe even restructure it to, grammatically speaking so that you are putting these ideas into your own words coming from these particular sources. And you could here in, indicate where each of these fit into each one, how each one fits into each particular claim based on each point. So again, you have your topic sentences here, 
you have your initial claims here and you would indicate these ideas that support each of the claims. So at a glance, you could easily see um, how your citations are supporting the different claims for the particular uh, key points or topic sentences that you've listed here. So we're going to be talking more in detail about the initial claim, counterclaim, and rebuttals. And we'll talk about what to include or how many claims to include in each paragraph. But I think generally speaking, this will give you a, a good starting point as you are collecting your ideas, collecting your articles, and, and seeking out those citations, filling out this reference um, research matrix so that you can see at a glance how you are um, supporting each of these claims. This will be able to provide you at a glance uh, an easy way to see what claims are still missing as you're developing your three-body paragraphs. So I hope this helps. If you do have any questions, of course, re reach out to me. Send me a, a message uh, if you want me to review your research matrix or if you have any questions or if you have issues finding articles to support uh, the different claims for your argumentative essay.